I'm Ken Reynolds, and I'm a father and a husband, wife Andrea, my two children, Kenton and Alyssa, loves of my life. Uh, I'm the worship pastor at Resurrection Life Church, which is in Granville, Michigan. Uh, the congregation is a pretty diverse congregation. Uh, we do gospel, we do contemporary, we'll cover a hymn, we'll change it up, and we've got to hit the Latin because I love Latin music. I feel my job as a worship leader is to present an environment where people can connect with God. Having that broad appeal um, helps me reach multiple people. That's kind of my heart, to help bridge the denominations and bridge the different cultures. I feel God has called me to that. And whatever I can do to do that, that's what my purpose, that's what my goal is. And music is definitely a way that can do that. It has a way of, of kind of breaking down barriers. Well, my dad was the choir director at the church we grew up in for over 20 years. And that was my experience. We were literally thrown into church ministry as a child. Uh, we listened to James Cleveland, Andre Crouch, Walter Hawkins. I also started listening to Earthway and Fire and uh, movie soundtracks. So whenever I write, it, it just all comes out. The classical side comes out and mixes with the gospel. And, and it just creates this music that has a real broad appeal. I grew up as a drummer, and growing up over the years, that was kind of my thing. I really never sang until I was in college, and that's really when I started writing as well. And I asked God to give me the ability to write songs. And I, I forgot about that for many, many years, and all of a sudden, God just instilled that in me, and I've been writing ever since. I've had different opportunities over the year to take a different path with the music and the gifts that God has given me, but I committed to God that I would dedicate everything to him, that I would do whatever I could to build his kingdom. It's not about the music, it's not about me, it's not about the songs really. Really it's all about building God's kingdom and pointing to him. And if anything else doesn't happen, as long as that one thing is accomplished, then I feel that my job is done. I received the call to praise and worship after I left the church I grew up in. My wife and I uh, joined a church that was had more diverse approach to music. I was introduced to praise and worship music, and that kind of introduced me into a whole new world that I wasn't familiar with. And I had started writing praise and worship songs, which was new to me, and I yielded to that. And once that happened, the floodgates opened, and, and God says, this is what I have for you, this is the destiny that I have for you. I eventually accepted the call into full-time ministry. I do that every day. Ministry never stops, so that keeps me on my toes, but what I realize is, is all the music that I was listening to and all the influences has led me to where I am today. And, and God knew what he was doing when he was uh, exposing me to all that. And, and now all those influences come out. And it's great because that's me. And that journey has led me, I believe, to exactly where God wants me to be and the path that he has me on. I'm, I'm excited and looking forward to the future of what God has for me. Everything. In your presence I live for you Once again I come bringing you this praise uh, The journey that I've been on with all the experiences that I've had growing up and the ministry that I do from week to week has really led to this project that I'm really excited about called One World, One God, which is based on Ephesians 4, 3 through 6. It says, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And it goes on to say there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And that's the message of this project. All the songs, all of the words, all different denominations coming together for one purpose, and that's to worship God. We did gospel, contemporary, we even did this Latin song. There were six different churches involved, uh, three of which made up the choir. And uh, that was real exciting to get everyone together, different denominations, different backgrounds for one purpose, that's just to celebrate God. And we just danced and, and sang and clapped and jumped and it, it was an amazing night. It wasn't about me, not about all the choir and the band that was there, really it was about connecting with God. 
and all of those lives that were changed. The purpose was fulfilled when that happened, and that's what makes me real excited. And I can't wait to share this music with the world, for the world to hear uh, what was experienced that night so lives can be changed, so they can connect to God. It's been encouraging to hear where the songs that God has given me are being sung all over the world. God's music transcends cultural barriers and language barriers. And as long as the message stays the same, purpose can be revealed and his kingdom can be built up. And that's really what it's about. One World, One God is, is not just a record. It's not just a, a CD project for now. It's a call that God has for me to help spread the message that we are one world and that He is the only God. It's my prayer that everyone who hears One World, One God would feel the heart behind the music, that it can be used to help bring folks together and break down those barriers, and that the music would draw them to a closer relationship to God that they be inspired and that they will be encouraged.